Hello, good afternoon, students. We are welcome with your new video. And today we are taking class eight, SST, and in that we are taking civics portion. So students, we are on chapter third of civics of class eight, and that is understanding laws. As we have been understood in previous videos, that law is guiding principle. Law is act as guiding principle. Law is the framework by that all the activities, all the human activities in social, in regard of social activities will be done. And students, the guiding principles are taken from different different countries. The important. facts and themes and ideologies have been taken have been copied from different different countries like canada ireland america russia even china and denmark some different countries constitution also where it is written or uh, non written so we have copied and we have taken all the important things from different countries constitution and those guiding principles which are which are some facts and some guidelines by that uh, our citizen has to conduct their duty or perform their duty so students as we discussed in previous video that law is a guiding principles with an objective of ensuring justice equality and fairness in the society are collectively known as laws and the people and the government are bound by laws laws act as check on the behavior of the citizen officials of the country so how to behave how to speak uh, what is our limit of freedom what is our duty and rights these all things have been mentioned in constitution and on that framework we do our duty so students first we have been discussed in previous video that what rule of law so what is rule of law rule of law that means kanun ka shasan what is the rule of law that means law is above all law is supreme and law is equally applicable on all the citizens of the country no one can be discriminated and can be classified regard of the law no one is above of the law of the land and the constitution of india is the supreme of the supreme law of the land so we are democratic and we need to follow india so in india supreme court is you know we have to discuss the three organs of government that is that is legislature legislature then executive then judiciary this legislature enacts law that is prepare laws executive make follow that rule and judiciary is above on both and is always checking these two these two work are they doing well or not So the judiciary, that means you see in Hindi, that is Nyaya Palika, is ever is on top as the government organs, and in that Supreme Court is supreme law of the land. So that means Constitution is the supreme law of the land, and the Supreme Court that means the Supreme Court of the India works. on the basis of constitution and all the high courts which are working under supreme court also they are working 
on the basis of constitution so that means that means constitution of india is the supreme law of the land on the basis of which new laws are formulated if any laws have been formulated or have been framed so the constitution the constitution's basic laws have been implemented or have been copied or have been checked uh, whether they are uh, getting related by them or not only if there is interconnection or relation between the basic laws which are already mentioned in constitution and which new laws are going to fend so if there is an interconnectivity with both of them so only then the rule of law will be passed so we can say constitution is our supreme law of the land and all the activities of the judiciary is being done on the basis of constitution any law that stands in the violation of the constitution is considered to be invalid and if there is any law which is uh doing rejection of the constitution is invalid automatically according to the rule of law the organs of the government must function in accordance with the law embedded in the constitution so all the government bodies that is legislative and executive and uh, all the government officials and works and ministers and prime ministers have to work on the basis of constitution on the rule of constitution which is embedded which rules which is mentioned or embedded in constitution the rule of law ensures that neither the government organs nor the government officials can misuse the power and law is not hereditary of anyone no one can do misuse of that either he or she is minister or prime minister or any government organs and officials there is well specified penalty for every crime or violation of law so in our constitution every penalty sorry every crime and every violation that means uh, if we are doing uh, you know opposition of law so there is penalty mentioned in our constitution and uh, the constitution also prescribes the processes of proving a person guilty how person can prove guilty this process is also being mentioned in constitution the legislature enacts laws the executive implements them and the judiciary interprets these laws in accordance with the constitution so this legislation makes the law after discussion in lok sabha and rajya sabha after signing of the president these laws have been formed in legislation the executive do the performance or you know conduction of that law which is formed and you know Uh, practice of that law which is formed on the ground basis is done by executive in executive minister council of ministry government is all in executive then there is judiciary judiciary can check both are they doing well or not and and according to constitution of india judiciary has to judiciary has to supreme court or high court they have they have to uh, take keen eye and you know Start by these two organs of government, that is legislature and executive. And if they if they find guilty, if they are in guilty process, so then the judiciary forms cases on them and you know file cases on both of them. And then after the process of their judgment or judgments are going to delivered. So students, we have to understand that. these are the these are the main organs of our government and how they are interdependent with each other in them the judiciary is uh, dependent organ and dependent body of government and can check both legislature and executive then students our topic move forward that is necessity of laws necessity of laws so why this laws why this rules and guiding principles are necessary why these laws and guidelines which are framed in our constitution are necessary for our citizen for our country what is the necessity of these laws what is the important and essential essentiality of these laws we are going to see so these laws are considered to be what is necessity of laws that means 
कानून की महत्ता या आवश्यकता Let us consider to be of tremendous importance in order to ensure the security and welfare of all. So the main objective and mission of law and framing law is to ensure the security and welfare of all. To give security and do welfare of all. What is welfare? As you know, kalyan. security as you know protection so the main aim of law is to ensure the security and welfare of all and law should change with the changing needs of time and what the time demands the laws should, should be changed after discussion in parliament and the importance of laws can be summed up in the following ways and what are the importance of laws are given below laws help a country in setting up standards of governance so if there is rigid law hard law the government have or should have or to easy survival of government easy handling of government should be there because if the laws uh, laws are rigid if i am giving an example we can talk the laws of dubai there are laws that if someone is doing you know if someone is stealing anything any object or money the hand of him or her will cut down so the rule and the law is there so by the fear of that law no one can do you know stealing and uh, no one can become thief so that is the rigidness and the hardness of the law if the law is of high standard of good standard then governance should be easier governance should be easy they play the role of deterrent in prohibiting people from committing crimes what is deterrent student check so this laws check and you know being kind of obstacles if someone is doing crime that laws that hardness of law that punishment of law embedded and you know images in the mind of the criminal who is doing crime so that is why if the law is rigid if the law is of high standard then a criminal can you know get fear to do any criminal activity so that is why the laws are checker checker of crime checker of criminality checker of criminal so that is why laws prevent chaos and help in the maintenance of peace order and safety in the in the society what is chaos chaos means this order this order if you see in hindi ah uh, vyavastha ah uh, vyavastha all kind of this order or this management which is there so it is work of law to check it and if there is any kind of disorder if there is uh, exploitation of peace and and law and order so law should be prevent this and maintenance of peace order and safety in the society so this is also an objective of law to maintain peace and order and security in society and to uh, decrease the disorder of society and laws help the government to function in an apt and efficient manner by laying down specific guiding principles for the proper functioning of its various organs so to function of the government law provides some efficient manner and some some ideology some attitude how to govern on hand how to handle government and some specific guiding principles are there who uh, helps government to perform their duties uh, if we talk about the uh, organs of government they also uh, perform their duty with help of the guiding principles of the law which is given and government also do fun their functions with the guiding principles of the law then laws protect from harmful activities such as drug abuse by putting a ban on drugs so if there is any kind of drug abuse if there is any kind of 
toxins which is in use. So laws prevent and prohibit do prohibition of that. And if there is any harmful activities uh, doing as such as drug abuse or anything, so uh, law protect these things. And laws provide protection against discrimination on various grounds such as color, sex, caste, creed, or religion. For example, in India, untouchability is a punishable offense according to law. So, if there is, some, if there is someone doing exploitation or discrimination of someone uh, on the basis of On the basis of caste, creed, religion, for example, if we uh, talk about uh, in India, untouchability is a punishable offence. Before the untouchability law, that is mentioned in Article 17, and before that, there was not any kind of provision for that. But nowadays, if in, if in India someone is doing discrimination, uh, on the behalf of untouchability, on the behalf of caste, color, and creed and religion, so it is a punishable offense. So, like that, laws provide protection against discrimination. What is discrimination? So, laws provide protection, protection against against discrimination. Discrimination. If you see the Hindi meaning of that, we will take it up. So if there is any kind of discrimination on the ground basis of uh, on various grounds such as color, sex, caste, creed or religion, so it is a punishable offense and this is also provided by law. Laws are needed to enforce human and fundamental rights of the people. So what are the human fundamental rights is also have been mentioned by law, have been enforced by law, empowered by law and uh, anyone can perform his or her fundamental duties or fundamental rights according to law. Laws are required for the resolution of disputes between different individuals, between individuals and government as well as between different governments, for example, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka, have been involved in the Kaveri water dispute. This dispute is now being handled by Supreme Court on the basis of the Interstate River Water Dispute Act of 1956. So, if there is any kind of dispute, any kind of conflict between two parties, either they are individual, two men or women, either they are two state that here it is given example of Tamil Nadu and Karnataka either they are uh, in both someone is government and someone is you know individual who is who is giving a uh, challenge or on his on uh, various topic and have some dispute uh, of a single citizen with the government and uh, government can be have also kind of dispute with the individual citizen also so if there is any kind of dispute, any kind of you know conflict, so there is Supreme Court to handle that cases. If that conflict is in state, so there is session court, uh, you know, district court, and there is high court. And if the case is of union level, so there is central, you know, Supreme Court. So students, all the conflicts are resoluted, are handled by the laws which is framed in our constitution and for example if you see there is conflict there is dispute between Tamil Nadu and Karnataka about Kaveri river that who will take the more water of that river so this dispute is from long time and from 1956 there was an act which was passed in Tamil Nadu and Karnataka that it was interstate river water disputes act so by that act on the basis of that act Supreme Court is handling that case so students, the uh, work of law, the works of laws, law are, um, can say to ensure you know, equal rights 
equal duties to ensure peace harmony to ensure security welfare of people to ensure fundamental rights of people to handle the disputes between people and, uh, and you know uh, officials and common bodies and individuals and to help government to function to uh, guide government to do proper function of its various organs and uh, to protect from harmful activities of its citizen and if there is any kind of discrimination laws also do check on that so these are works and these are necessities of the law so students in this video we have been considered about necessities of law and what is rule of law and what is law in next video students we will read further about dowry provision act 1960 in this video for this video homework you have to write a small summary on this topic and if there is any kind of inquiry you can ask on my number and we will meet in next video students till then have a nice day thank you